What's up guys? My name is John. I am the guitarist and vocalist for a death metal band in Los Angeles called Viminal. And when I'm not playing music or making music or recording or whatever, I occasionally make these vlogs. And today I sort of have a, I don't know if it's a confession, uh, I have not been consistent on YouTube, obviously. Maybe it's not obvious to you because I haven't been consistent enough for you, the viewer, to actually be watching my shit. And I decided to commit today now to posting one video a week for as long as I can. And if I fuck up, shit, I'll post two videos the following week. <laughs> now, my normal computer that I use to edit video is actually getting fixed at Apple right now. And all I have is this thing that I don't actually have Final Cut on. So this is going to be one take, and it's not going to have all the production value that a lot of my normal uh, videos have. <clears throat> so, why haven't I been consistent? I think there are a few reasons that I haven't been consistent and probably reasons that many people, perhaps you if you're checking this out, haven't been consistent on YouTube. The first is that, at least for me, this is actually my first reason, I want to produce really, I want to, I want to prioritize the quality of the of, of my content, of the things that I'm saying, the ideas I'm sharing, at least in terms of the, these videos. This is separate from the other musical things I'm doing. And sometimes if I feel like I don't really have something to say, I don't want to put something out for the sake of putting something out. Now, I will not do that. I just don't believe in that. There's too many people just putting out fucking shitty blog posts and crap like that all over the internet, and it's wasting everybody's time. <laughs> I will not do that, but... I think there are things worth talking about, worth sharing, that I will be making videos about, and that will produce the consistency, and I'll get to that in a second. Second reason is there's been other shit just distracting me, both in my personal life, I'm actually looking for some, uh, for a new job, it's a, not, not, conversations neither here nor there, and um, also in the band, our drummer quit a little while ago, we had to replace our bassist a little bit before that, so been a little bit of a headache in the band world lately, and um, that takes up my time, but also sort of is discouraging. Um, but I sort of don't want that to become an excuse. I think the connecting with people and delivering the value, which is what I'm intending to do with these videos, is is important enough to trump those, you know excuses or those those things that might get in the way. So what I wanted to share with you today is five, is it five? It's five, <laughs> looking at my script, uh, five strategies that I think, uh, that I'm planning to implement in order to become more consistent. And I will make videos, or I'll talk about it later, the results that I get from these five. So number one is developing something of a standard operating procedure. I've talked to multiple people who are entrepreneurs, you know, friends of mine, entrepreneurs or business people or content creators. And it seems like one of the themes is having something of a routine and schedule. And I'm all about this in other areas of my band and career and, and personal life. Um, but haven't been consistent with that in YouTube. So I'm not totally sure what my standard operating procedure is going to be yet, but I'm going to figure it out. <clears throat> Number two, the 80-20 of what I want to produce on YouTube. 80-20, um, by the way, refers to what's sometimes called the Pareto Principle. Basically, 80% of your results are generated from 20% of your efforts. And <clears throat> this is often used in business and economics and blah, blah, blah. But I think for me, it's not getting caught up in a lot of the details of, of making the videos or overthinking the script. I mean, right now, I'm going off one take. <laughs> I don't really have a script. Usually I script out a lot of what I'm saying and my lighting is, you know, meh. I didn't put too much thought into it today because I just wanted to produce something and hopefully it ends up being good. But for me, uh, the production value, for example, is not a priority with my videos. With other channels, that is a priority because it depends on what content you're creating. But I think for me, a lot of, at least the speaking videos, a lot of the quality comes from having the ideas being authentic, being clear, obviously you guys want to be able to understand what I'm saying, but a lot of the other things that I'm not 
an expert in, or not expert isn't the right word, that there's other things that just aren't as important. And those become distracting to me or become reasons to not make something. And I'm not going to let that happen so much anymore. So what's the 20% that makes up my 80%? I think good ideas, having the actual experiences that produce those ideas. Um, so doing things with the band and then being able to talk about them. Um, uh, doing research, so a lot of times I talk about different psychology things or different things about you know, how to manage uh, band stuff. And I actually read and do some research to figure out if the things I'm saying are uh, you know, correct and effective. So enough about that, the point is focus on the little bit that produces the, uh, the majority of the quality of your own content, or at least that's what I'm telling myself. And keep in mind, all these videos, this one and all the ones I'm making, are really almost me just talking to myself. I'm trying to t share the things that I wish I knew before. Um, so a lot of the stuff about you know starting bands and stuff, it's like things that I googled and was like, I can't fucking find the answers for this. I guess I'll go figure it out and then tell other people, you know, so that I can be of help. Seems like the good Catholic thing to do. Number three. I heard this today, deadlines over details. Basically, done is better than perfect. I don't think this is universally true, and like I was just saying in the, in the previous point, I think quality is the priority, at least it is for me. I, definitely putting something out that's shitty, I think is bad. But not getting caught up in the, like I said, the, the details that maybe don't matter as much in order to hit that actual deadline. So in terms of putting out videos, again, making sure that I'm consistent and th what matters is of high quality. And then the other stuff, maybe let it go if I don't get it done. Oh, by the way, this is similar to the, some of the songwriting tips I've given before, where you get so caught up in some of the comparisons about your music compared to other people's that you end up never doing anything. You get kind of paralyzed. And I don't want to, and I've, I've gotten through that with my songwriting and now it's occurred to me that maybe the lesson or the, the next challenge I need to take on is doing that with some other content. Number, yeah, number four. This is an interesting idea. Eliminating the slowest hiker. This is a cliche I've heard about, you know, if you're hiking and everyone's waiting on one person, if you speed up that one person, the slowest person, the whole group moves along. So what does that mean in this case? I think for me that means either getting better at or not worrying about, again, all the, some of the unnecessary details in terms of making the actual videos. I'm actually pretty comfortable with editing and posting. It's often setting up the camera, getting the lighting right, making sure the audio is good, and being comfortable uh, talking to actually no one, talking just a fucking camera and then having people here in the next room. Um, that can be weird and it does Although I'm fairly comfortable with it, it does prevent me from actually getting things done sometimes. So, like I, like I was saying, it, focusing on the biggest obstacle, I think it's actually making the video. So how do I improve that? One mindset that I think I'm going to adopt, one practice, is I don't have to upload every video I make. And what that means for me is that I feel less pressure about making a potentially shitty video. So if I make, so, so basically I'm not as pressured to make the best video, or if I fuck up, it's not a big deal. And in turn, probably what will happen is my videos will be fine and I'll just upload them. But it's an interesting mindset that I'm going to experiment with because it'll lower the, the stress and the barrier of, of making the video in the first place. And if I end up making something and not uploading it or whatever, at least I got practice um, making the videos, which will make me a better videographer, make me better at, you know, more comfortable, and just in time will allow me to produce better content. Okay, number five, um, just being more authentic and documenting more. more. Documenting more of what I'm experiencing and starting the band and other musical ideas and insights I have. <clears throat> um, I often, like, get an idea and I go, whoa, that was really cool. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to use that. And then I don't necessarily talk about it and I say, oh, that may not be good for, for video or something, but 
Um, I don't. That's not necessarily true all the time. So, I want to try taking the things that are meaningful to me and making more videos out of them. Which goes back to what I was saying earlier about <clears throat> not putting out shitty content. I think there's actually ample stuff for me to talk about, both in terms of, like I said, if I learn something or if I have either a cool idea on the guitar or in terms of band creation, band development, or a musical idea or something more like on the business side of things. I get those experiences, I, I learn stuff all the time, <clears throat> and I don't necessarily talk about it, but I think I should. And then similarly documenting, so not necessarily talking to the camera in, in terms of, you know, saying, oh, this is what I did or how to, but just allowing people to observe the process. So those are the five things that I <clears throat> brainstormed today when I was thinking about this, and I thought they might be useful for a lot of other people who are also content creators or are just, you know, looking to make more shit. Um, a lot of them don't, it, it, th those five, it's funny, they don't even all pertain to just making video, or just making YouTube video, I don't think. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all pretty much, <clears throat> uh, it, it, they're, all, they're all strategies that, that can be implemented in any form of creativity or output. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your attention. Again, my name is John, and I am in a band in Los Angeles called Viminal. We're like a melodic, epic, death, and thrash metal band. We're fucking awesome. I think so. If you'd like to check out our music, it'll be linked in the description. On this channel, also, we have music videos and playthroughs. You can check out all of our music on there. If you want to support me or support the band in anything we're doing, uh, there's two ways to do that. You can go to our band camp, which is also linked below, and buy the music. It's free. You can download it for free, or you can purchase it at whatever price you want. Um, and you can also hit us up about some merch. We have t-shirts and things like that, and we would love to sell them to you. They're, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, I always prioritize quality, so same with our music and same with our merchandise. With that, I appreciate your time. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click the like button. If you want to see more of what I'm going to do in my effort to be consistent, click subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay metal.